We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show coming at you in the home of the Monarchs in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. And I'm in the compost pit. <laughs> She's in the compost pit. This is the first pit that we used and it's so amazing to see. You know, we were away for two months and we came back and everything is like broken down. Look at this soil down here. It's like brown, as apart from things like avocado pits and mango pits. Look at this stuff. Amazing, rich brown. It was like six feet deep and now it's like three feet deep. Yeah. And this thing is full of trees and plants. Like, I, I seriously haven't even counted them all. There are so many papayas and mangoes and avocados. I don't know if you maybe want to see, like, this, for example. This is an avocado tree. Uh, this is another maracuya, passion fruit, that's coming up. This is um, avocado. These are mangoes along here. Look at this papaya, how healthy it looks. It's growing in straight compost. It looks amazing. And there's tomatoes down here and all kinds of plants. So what I really wanted to do is I'm going to dig some of these out and we're going to go over to where the baby horse, Cherry Star, was born and his placenta is still on the ground. And I'm going to plant three of these trees over by Cherry's placenta. You know why there's all these trees in here? Because we just threw our compost which contained fruit with seeds in them and then they just grew from the soil in perfect compost they grew. And now we've got like 20 trees. Yeah. Or more probably. There are so many papaya trees down here. We are abundant. Nature is abundant. You know what I love most about the whole horsey situation? What? Barbie, Cherry's mommy, trusts us with Cherry. She just sits there and lets us say hello all the time. She doesn't even care because she trusts us. It's a very nice one, isn't it? It is a nice one. Cherry comes and touches my hand a lot now. Ooh. I haven't touched more than his nose yet, but it's very nice. I haven't touched more than his nose yet either, but he's touched me with his head, I think. Woo! And Angela's hot. Baba! We're on our way to the horse placenta, and I wanted you guys to see our little alfalfa patch that we're creating. This is all straight alfalfa. Over there we have a canal running through our property where water is constant throughout the year. And we kind of dug out a little uh, entrench to like water every little bit of this. So it's just coming straight from the canal. And that's a big old mango tree, that's the grandfather daddy. And then... placenta here and we're gonna plant some trees around. It smells kind of gnarly. Ugh. All right, let's plant some trees around the placenta. Mm. All right, so we got them in the ground. Here we've got an avocado. Beautiful avocado. Look at this guy. That was from the compost pit. From the compost pit. Now, in the next couple of days, these guys might not look so happy because they just moved home. But I tell you what, the, comp the ground here, the soil here, is also amazing. I haven't dug up such great soil anywhere else on this property yet. It's, I think it's because we're so close to the canal. It's beautiful, this soil. It's really dark and rich. And when, as I was digging, there were worms all the way through as well. So hopefully this guy won't be too sad to be here. And then over here, we got a mango. Again, really healthy looking. He's got a couple of sad looking leaves, but overall looking great. And then on this side, there's not a tree yet, but um, you can just see here, we put in a mame sapote seed. You know that fruit that we were showing you a few days ago? Amazing. Um, dense fruit. It's kind of looks like a, a football or something. 
and we don't know if they grow around here or if it's going to do well but we just put the mamey seed in here so we'll see what happens with him and I also brought from the river a load of um, quartz crystal from the river so we put some of these sticks around each hole to help to protect the baby trees from the horses and the humans and whatever. I'm also going to put some quartz crystal, quartz crystal around to help raise the vibration around these guys. So why didn't the why didn't the mom eat the placenta? Well, I guess you know horses are herbivores. Like I don't know what would happen to a horse if it ate a lot of. So humans are herbivores and they eat their placentas. Well, I think we're, more, we're kind of more omnivores. I don't know, like some animals are obligate, you know, like maybe a horse is an obligate herbivore. Like if it, if it doesn't eat plant food, if it eats flesh food, maybe it gets really ill. Like humans seem to be able to survive eating flesh food. Can we go now? This like stinks. Ba -ba! <laughs> We're planting three trees around a placenta. It smells like death here. <laughs> I'm gonna put crystal around all three of the trees and then we're gonna bury the placenta. And this to me- We're gonna bury the placenta? Yeah. So that all the nutrients go into the ground. Cause right now, cherry is almost a week old. So the placenta has been out here on the ground for a week. So a lot of the nutrients are being lost to the air and uh, the flies and everyone who's coming here so I want to get the placenta in the ground as soon as possible so that the nutrients go into the ground. Do we have to film this? No. Alright everybody. I would like to give some blessings to Cherry's life though with this little ceremony. On camera? Yeah. I'm excited that he came to join us. He was a very unexpected surprise to everyone and he's an absolute blessing. He's the most beautiful little horse I've ever seen and I'm really excited to share this land with him and to watch him grow and thrive and prosper here. I like Cherry because he's a nice one and he's a very nice blessing and I love Cherry and I'm glad he's here and I bless his placenta and his mommy too. Yummers, Baba. See, it's a nice one, isn't it? Mm. Well, while she's uh, burying this placenta and sniffing around here and putting rocks around everything, I'm gonna go to the canal five feet away so you can check it out. Check it out. Placenta, Angela. Mango tree? Mangoes? 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 I've never seen this canal dry all year round. Gotta love it. That noise you hear in the background is actually a pump that we rented for a day to bring this canal water all the way to our bamboo forest during the dry season. I also wanted to say, some of you might be thinking, wow, these trees are a bit too close together. They're gonna suffer when they're older. We're aware of that. You know, we don't know who out of these guys is gonna survive. And maybe they're all gonna become friends, you know? Maybe they're all gonna be intertwined. Or maybe something will change, so. We're just giving them all an opportunity. I kind of feel like it's a representation of the mother and the father and the baby. It's like the triad. And then we have the placenta right in the middle. Apparently this, yeah, obviously this was right where he was born. Um, one of our workers just told me it was right there that he was born. So, blessings on the trees and blessings on Cherry for a very long and healthy and happy life. I love Cherry and he's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> and I give him many blessings for his time here on our land, which he'll never leave ever.
All right, so uh, I guess that's it for now. Who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch, watching Angela burying a placenta. <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.